Hello and uh, welcome. Today I'm gonna talk about the circle of change. So what's the circle of change? It starts with thinking. You think about something, then the second step is feeling. You develop a feeling for this thing. After that, the behavior changes, which is the third step. And then the fourth step is the action. So if you want to change your approach to a, a situation or to a continuous act, you want to change your life in it or about it, you think about the first, uh, the first uh, stepwise approach. You think about it, then you feel it, then after the feeling you uh, you develop emotions and uh, um, that will affect your behavior so and the behavior will lead to a changes and the changes will lead to actions and uh, so that's the way things happen so if you want to for example you want to uh, you have you are having a problem going to the gym you change the way you think about it then you develop emotion positive emotions I'm gonna go there to develop a finer body etc etc and this will develop into behavior changes so you started to go to the gym and after that when you go regularly you will see changes also when you're having a problem in doing uh, something so it's the same thinking process you start with the thinking process you're having emotions start from the thinking process go back to the first step why why you started this action in the first place so the why is the most important and there is a book by Simon Snick called start with why and it's very important so you can go back to it and uh, revise the causes or the reasons that you started the subject in the first place or starting doing something in the first place why and the process is uh, better monitored by writing you need to write daily journal so you know what you're thinking about in these days and the previous days and uh, based on your thinking you know what's the problem you are facing you're externalizing the problem into the paper so you can follow it up you can know the reasons you can branch the problem into basic causes you can know your why etc by daily journaling and there are many levels of journaling you can journal at the basic level just stating the obvious what happened why it happened and what do you think is going to happen and by this statement by this uh, daily prompt you will discover your recurrent patterns of activity I like the Cornell method of writing where you divide the page into four uh, divisions the first division will be the subject and the date the second division which is the largest division will be about the questions that you want to ask the Cornell method in the Cornell method and here the small division and the uh, oh it's not focusing correctly so this small division will be uh, the 
uh, new words that you learn and the final division below will be the conclusion so this is in a nutshell the Cornell method and it's uh, basically when you're faced with a subject that you don't know you want to understand it fairly well you start with the questions you lead with the questions it's a way of discovering why and uh, this method works for the subjects that's more of uh, literature approach more of reading approach more of uh, many information overload so you can distill the information by asking questions ask questions not to just regurgitate the matter the uh, subject and put it into the paper and then revising the subject this way it's not helpful but if you want to revise for a material or to understand a subject you need to lead with the questions for example here is the circle of action where you have the gidanka uh, or the thinking and then gifol or the feeling and then verhalten which is the behavior and then resultat or the results so this is the circle of action I took it from uh, another youtuber I'm gonna link uh, her down below but it's in German so I translated in uh, English to English so I hope you enjoy uh, this uh, information and uh, have a nice uh, weekend